Hey, this is Bronson again. I'm gonna show you another card trick. But first, I don't think any, I don't think I mentioned in my video, in any of my previous videos. Well, I've only done two other than this one. But I learned all these tricks on YouTube thanks to Miss Mag eighty eight two two. I will put a link to his channel. Look him up. He's a very talented. Um card trick teacher that's actually he has a website it's called card trick teacher dot com I believe okay well this is another trick I learned from him and his very I mean very cool this trick is called Jack the Bounty Hunter so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through here and I'm gonna find Jack so it can't be any Jack it is the Jack of Clubs see this Jack is different from his three brothers and he is a bounty hunter see here's Jack just dropped all my cards here's Jack we're gonna lay him to the side right now see he's going to he fights bad guys and all kinds of people and make, he saves the day so what we're gonna do is before we tell the um, spectator to pick a card we're gonna make two separate decks each containing 15, so we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to put another one down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, we're going to tell them this is your deck. Square it up. Um, this is your deck. And this is my deck. Ask them to split their deck anywhere they want. It does not matter. So we're going to split it for them. And ask them to split your deck too. So we're going to split it for them. And then tell them to take any card from here. So we're going to take the... Hmm, in his video, he used, in Miss Meg's interpretation of this trick, he used the Nine of Diamonds. I will use the Ten, who still all the diamonds, and tell them to put it on either one of their decks that they want. So say they pick this deck, okay? And then ask them to pick one of your decks, and say they pick this one, let's do diagonals, and put it on top of their card so that we do have no idea where it's at. And then we take Jack and we'll leave him face up on our deck. Oops. There's Jack. Sorry. And we're going to take their deck and put it on top of ours and we're going to take ours and put it on top of theirs. Now what this just did was it, it randomized in all of the cards you don't want to shuffle it because then Jack will kill this his place and he will not know where he is. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to lay each card face down and just do that through the whole deck. And what this does is Jack is going to find their card. There's Jack, so we're going to keep doing this. Okay, Jack wasn't in here, so what he's done is now he has gained knowledge of exactly what state the culprit is at. So we're going to do this one more time to... Oh, and look, Jack is here. Looky, looky, I found Jack. Okay, sorry, I uh, was caught off guard, ADD, rabbit, squirrel, <laughs> okay, well, Jack wasn't in there, so he's right here, so let's do this again. Ooh, Jack has narrowed it to the right city, I don't know what I said last time. 
here is Jack, and everything worked out well. Jack has now found the culprit, and here it is, the ten who stole all the diamonds. Now, if you do everything I did in the same order, it will work every single time. It is an easy working, it's a self-working mathematical card trick. I also, both the other two card tricks I have done before were also learned by Miss Mag, and one of them was a self-working mathematical card trick, and the other one, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day.